down in three, two, one. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Road to Jalalabad will be the first map today. Between Scandi and Existence, a great match here. Road to Jalalabad on Kakwa Small, a four-flag map. Each team gets one, one, one main base flag, the Junkyard for the US team, Mosque for the Mac Mech team, and each team does get one tank. Two other flags on the map are the Market and the Hotel. Market flag will be initially where we're going to launch ourselves. I'll be spectating Scandi on the Mech side as they push towards down, push on down towards the Market. And the tanks will be support. So here we go. Scandi with really, really bad spawns. Wow! They are going to take forever to get down there. Grenade's going to go out of from Scandi. It's a five-man push. Hayaz will get the first double kill with, against Trashpline and Eric under the market, or just above the market flag. It really is going to look like Existence is going to take this flag right off the bat. Trashpline drives around the flag, right? Flag along with Nock. But Scandi already going to lose the flag. Meanwhile, Hotel Flag has the tank on it, even though Scandi or Existence, Scandi put already put somebody on it. M with the tank along with uh, gets one kill on Anders. And it's going to be up to Lars in the tank for Scandi to try to push him off of it. Not going to happen just yet. Tank shell will connect from M. Market flag still in control by Existence. And we have infantry fighting like crazy. Lars and Lu Yet going to engage against the tank. Each team. Whoa, what the heck? There was a double shot there. Trash. Lu Yet will get the kill with the Sraw. So Lars is going to get that kill. Scandi now going to push towards the hotel flag. Market flag getting pushed by uh, Existence. Or, no, excuse me, pushed by Scandi right now as they will take this flag. No problem. Big Black knock. So another kill on double kill on the Hayas and Emzon. So that flag goes up for Scandi. Meanwhile, we've got a two, so we've got a 2-2 two two flag hold right now. Hotel flag in possession of Existence along with Junkyard. No tank up for existence just yet. I believe it just got back up as it's leaving the junkyard. And M will find one kill onto Anders. And gonna push towards the hotel flag. Lots of uh, different alleyways on this map. Spencer will fly as M put a shell on that road. M's gotta be really careful though. Oh, Lou yet. We'll get the kill on the breaker. Meanwhile, the tank will fall as well. So Lu Yet in his favorite position on the map. Up on that building. Artillery from Lu Yet going to drop towards on top of the market flag. As Existence going to try to recap. Tank even on the flag. M finds a double kill on the knock and trash blind. Eric will respawn from behind. M turns around, gets killed by knock. Flag almost down. Spencer are going to 1v1. Poor Trash gets back there. He, <laughs> oh, poor Spencer. Wins the fight against Kane, but gets TK'd by Trash Blind. 302. More infantry coming in from existence on the market flag. It got recapped by Scandi. Not enough. <laughs> Big black knock. Scandi currently in control of this flag. Existence has two infantry on the rooftop. Spencer going to try to drop some grenades on the rooftop. And apparently somebody team killed me. Who so yet yeah, for Existence or for Scandi drops down an artillery. Two, two friends, two foes. Three friends now fall. Existence going to wipe the flag. Or uh, Scandi Luyet's going to wipe the flag, the flag of everybody. Dropping down a jeep just to get the kill, and he's not going to get it, but man, was that close. Yeah, dropping that jeep. Two flags to two continue, 174 to 172, a very even game right now. Rear shot under the tank of uh, Lars, I believe. I believe this is Lars. No, this is M. What am I talking about? Lars is Scandi. The Abrams. Knock! Gonna push the hotel flag. He's all here alone. Gonna get Srod from the side by Lightning Luke. Meanwhile, Mosque flag under attack by Existence. Trashpline gets killed by Kane, who finds a double kill on a Trashpline and Eric. Look at the push here from Existence. They even stole the tank. They're all over the place. Artillery gonna land right in front. This could be huge. Two Sraws go out from, uh, from well, from everybody. Tank will go down. Arctic will get a kill, uh, get killed by Lou yet. 
The flag goes gray. Scandi may have just lost their main. Lu Yet just TK'd his whole freaking team! <laughs> that flag is totally existences. Eric, still alive. The squad leader for Scandi. Scandi gonna fight over their main. Meanwhile, the market might be pushed by one or two. But this is the big fight of the round right now. Spencer and Nock slowly pushing in. Lelan gets a kill on the Luke. He Oz finds a uh, trash blind. Eric still on the side. Gonna get another kill on the Arctic. Still with a PP19. This tank should be up any second. Unless they don't get one. I'm not even sure anymore. They're still gonna fight it out. Spencer with a shock paddle kill on the Hayas. Flag halfway down. Knock on the gun. Finds a double kill into Breaker and Arctic. Lars will find another. The flag might go gray again, but there, there should be about time for the artillery to come back down. Come on, get it, gray. Scandy still in control. Triple kill grenade from High Oz. He kills Trash Blind twice on the second grenade. This is. Absolutely bonkers right now. Artillery, as we mentioned, still going to go up for both both teams right now. We're going to have another double artillery coming in. Spencer all alone. Scandy not in control of the flag. Neither is existence. Although Scandy <coughs> has dumped everything onto it. Scandy with only one artillery shell. Not going to be enough. Lara's going to go up against three versus one. Gets killed by Arctic. Eric, the last person alive. Oh, man. Our... Tank from Lar or from M gonna solo cap the market right now, and he's gonna do it. There's no opposition here from Scandi. It's Lars that's gonna spawn up on the rooftop. He'll get one kill. M will find. We'll clean that up. Hotel flag was capped by Scandi, so they're not out of it yet. But the mosque is still gone. And a huge, huge freaking Scandi push. Five men strong. Knock on the left, along with five on the right. And I heard a 249 go out as well. Grenades for Breaker, maybe. Flag in trouble. LMG. PPV, excuse me. <clears throat> Basa will get one, gets killed himself by Spencer. Flag gonna go gray. Artillery from Scandi gonna land on the market flag. Oh my god. More grenades coming out against the Mar Mosque flag. A few more members of Scandi are here. Their tank is actually going to make their way up here as well. Luke will get, find a double kill on Spencer and knock with the artillery. Crash Blind is the only member of Scandi on the flag radius. He's going to go in for... No! M is here! If he would have sat still, he may have had it. The Mosque flag. Two members of Scandi trying to push the junkyard. But this flag is going back and forth like crazy. Grenades going out. M is also on the flag now, so he's going to really, really make sure that the Scandi push doesn't come back and, and, and get him and recap this flag. Eric, I must say, doing an amazing job as the squad leader. Has not died in like the last five minutes. Still finding kills left and right. M will kill Spencer as he backs against the wall. Eric will finally go down to a grenade, and I think Scandi is finally in some trouble. Now, and only now, do they finally lose the mosque for sure. Meanwhile, Junkyard push. Scandi, not going to go down with a fight. Without a fight. Trash blind here. Lelan also dies, so that push is finally is gone. New push from Anders. To the roof. To the moon. Peace squad deploy. Spencer will go down. Hayaz gets the kill. He'll die himself. More people from existence in the root in the building. Artillery landing almost certainly on this flag from existence. Lelan with another one on Kane. Luke with another one on Spencer. Grenades all around under the flag radius. I guess this wasn't going here. Anders still in flag for squad leader. Another push possibly from from Scandi. Yes. No. Rooftop. Bad Trump. Oh man, M's on on the rooftop already, waiting for M for uh, for Anders to jump up there. Eric and Trash, the last two alive. They're not squad leaders. Meanwhile, uh, the, the, the M in the tank, pushing the hotel flag. This is the last flag they have. I also got TK'd again, according to the chat log. I, <laughs> I love that. M will fall. Back and forth we go. New tank respawn. New uh, squad deployment. 
Eric took squad lead just as uh, he has killed him, so that's not, so that pushes over as well. One flag for Scandi. Tickets almost pretty still still pretty even. With ten minutes left to go, one hundred five to one twenty five. Spencer with a double, double Eric's kill actually on the Hayas and Basa. Knock will kill Emzon. The flag will go gray, but I'm thinking the artillery is going to land right here in about two about two seconds. Nailed it. Luke gets trash blind. Knock still with his head in the sand. Along with Lars, flag will go up. PPV kill from the high ground gets gets the kill on Lars. And Scandi are not done pushing the mosque or the the junkyard just yet. Apparently they're going to try to go for the trade. Hotel flag will finally swing. Scandi unable to defend. They just have so many people everywhere. Spencer's here. He's going to drop grenades in the flag radius, but I'm sure this is going to go up for for existence. Eric and Lillen. Outside the flag of the junkyard. Eric put a shell into, into M. Lelan is a medic, so he doesn't have much to do. He can't really help out with this tank. New artillery going up. Eric had jumped over. Oh, missed the straw on M. Leland's still alive. <clears throat> Scandi trying to put up their own, uh... Trying to get their artillery and their main base equipment back up. I do see the commander assets, at least the radar of UAB up. As existence are going to push from the high ground onto the market flag. Free up on the high ground. Lelin gets knifed. Not quite sure where that happened. <clears throat> Market flag officially under attack now. See Emzon on the flag radius. And we, have a, we have a respawn on it. Knock respawns as well. Scandi, note about it. 203 kill from Kane from the rooftop from behind the flag. Gets killed by Trash Blind. New push from Lars. It's killed by Emzon. I believe there was a pistol shot as well. Candy trying to make their way back up to the mosque, but they're still spread a little thin. They don't really... It looks like they really are just trying to defend <clears throat> against the tank of the south. All I know is, they're having a... If, they, if they're... They were having a hard time dumping five players onto that flag from on it already. I don't know what they're going to do with two or three. The mosque and junkyard are so difficult to cap on this map. M up in the side streets. Trying to get the shot on the Lelin. Mosque being pushed again. Triple kill for all of existence. Ayaz, Breaker, and Boss are going to keep, continue to wipe the push. Spencer from the high ground. AK1 kill on the Bossa. No flank around, though. In fact, there's only one member here. It's just going to be Spencer. Oh, there's been a cap. Existence. M pushed onto the flag. Anders pushing down. Lelan's still alive for the squad leader, but that's been it for the round. 56 tickets. Three left for Scandi. Lelan trying to put some shots into the tank. Anders still here as a medic. Eric. Still alive. Anders goes down to M. Another shot into the tank. But Lelan went down to high house in the DPB up north. It's just going to be Eric. He will fall to Emzon. 98 to 0 is your first round win for existence. Damn, that was a good round.
M in the tank going 20 and 3. That's why he's one of the best in the league. Some good infantry kills all around. <laughs> oh my god, that mosque push lasted forever and it was incredible. Round number two, not sure if we're going live just yet. But honestly, I like the opportunity to. Yep, they're going live, so I'm gonna have to suicide out. Okay. Oh my god, the straws! Whoa, from existence! I don't think I've ever seen that many uh, that, that kind of coordination off the bat. The jeep got there from Scandi is successfully, but the tank took one hit. Lars took a shot on the way out. Nock will get the revive on a trash plane. They both get, get killed by the grenade and the, the triple kill from Basa. Existence on point right now. They are warmed up. Scandi gonna take the hotel flag. Tank moving down. Lars and Nord towards flag radius. Spencer. Toe into the tank, that'll be it. Lots of members from Scandi over here on the hotel flag. A toe shot into the tank is pretty much going to be all she wrote. Ayaz, PV-819 kill into Lelan. The jeep's going straight to the junkyard. The fact of the matter is, Scandi's tank is down and Lars... going to have to fight it out if he wants it back. Grenades going out. Good grenade from Lars. Doesn't get the kill. He'll get the tank back. But existence are going to push the junkyard. Crash plane, double kill into Bossa and Arctic. And that was on the junkyard. Still one here. Now two. Now three. Existence is going to push towards the main. Now four. Raw's go out against Lars really heavily. Tank will go down. He push on the inside. Leland won the fight against Hayaz. Oh, Kane. Good spot. Scandi on the opposite side of the map is actually trying to push the, the main for, for existence as well. And it's really been up to M. Probably uh, the commander over here. Grenade over the rooftop. That's yeah, probably Luke over here, probably helping to defend. Junkyard, they get their tank back. Scandi does, that is. Artillery gonna land from existence, or from Scandi, the bare minimum corner. They try to help with that tank. Lou Yet will get the kill in the breaker with his own artillery. That'll almost certainly be on the junkyard. Existence is not giving up this push on the junkyard yet. Crash blind. One versus one against Hayaz loses the fight. Revives go out from existence as well. Lelin pushing the market, maybe? Nope, he's coming back around. Knock swings around with trash blind. They get a double kill as well. Get a twofer. And Lars is being forced to play so far back away from this flag. Oh my god! Look at where M is having to play. It is so far back. Spencer! Got on the tank. Mosk. Still being pressured by a few members of Scandi. It looks like it'll just be Spencer now, though. Two flags to two. The bleed. Not applied to any team. Is Scandi gonna push the market? Ash blind. One on Bossa. Gets the revive. And Lars still taking so many damn our damn, damn, damn uh, rocket shots. He has been very ineffective all round. He's just been so busy trying to trying to prepare his own tank. Speaking of which, it went down again. Eric's from Bassa. I believe it was him right here. 
Oh, that's Arctic. Mosque flag, or excuse me, not mosque. Market flag will go gray. I'm going to show up on the T90, take out Spencer, Eric, and I'll we'll just run from it. Shot from behind is Bossa. We'll kill Eric with the FAV. Market flag, I'm going to go back up for existence. I'm going to leave one member plus M in the area. Help defend. A big black knock on top of the rooftop. Throw your face to M and you might die. A scary angle for sure. Market flag secure. Hotel flag will, le will also go down. And Scandi still being pressured in their main. Hotel flag and market flag. Both go the way of existence. Lar is going to just slam. Lars tries to push M without support, gets obliterated by all the straws of his team. Nice Eric's kill from Bassa. Down the down the hill on the Anders and the FAV and the DPV. Eric. Shot from the left. Matter Lelin with a double two of three kill into Amazon and Bassa. At least they'll try to hold that flag a little bit. Lara is back up in the tank again. Oh my god, big black knock. I hate to say this, I think he gravity grenaded up on the rooftop. I think he I think it bounced back on him. I think it killed him and three teammates. That might be the most epic fail grenade in all of in Battlefield 2 hit comp in a long time. <laughs> Blue Yat in the corner. It's a straw and a double artillery kill. Straw out onto M. We'll connect. Hank can force M to back away from the hotel a little bit. Redeploys come out from, from existence towards the hotel flag. Four infantry here, plus the tank. Lars has a friend. I, <laughs> I as well die to trash blind. Hotel flag going to go back up for Scandi, which is good, because that'll stop the bleed. Lars doing some repairing. No pushes towards the main right now, possibly aside from whoever this is. As long as it's not a squad leader, it might not be the worst thing in the world. Doesn't even matter. Get taken out. Candy, marking their way towards the market flag. Marking? Marking their way. Making their way towards the market flag. Why you do, why you, why you do this, brain? More infantry from, scan, from existence. Trying to swing around back. Lars sees it. One shell will kill Emzon. Possible revives coming out. Triple push. Anders still here. Now quad. Looks like... Looks like M or uh, Lars wants to be aggressive. Oh, no! M with a far superior position. Doesn't even matter. Lars gets an easier shot. Riker will die with M. And I guarantee you, Lars is going to go towards the uh, towards the mosque. Eats a shell anyway. Eric's from, well, from somewhere, from Arctic. Didn't even see it on the map. The tank will go down. Leland just trying to defend over here. Finds two towards the hotel flag. Hotel completely undefended by anybody from Scandi. Leland swinging by in the jeep. Scandi needs to make something happen really, really quick here for this map. Artillery from yet finds one on Hayaz. Wow, very clutch arty. Actually kills Kane in this little gap.
Lara is being forced to back up again. And really, he's going to be in some serious trouble. Another straw goes out. Lara is forced to repair more. Junkyard flag under attack by existence. Crashplane and Anders respond to both medics. Two against two ATs. This should be an okay fight. Hyaz will get one kill on Trashline. Anders. Inside. Gets chased down by Emzon. Big black knock. Uh, gonna help defend. Found one kill on Emzon. Gets artillery. Louis yet with another double kill on his teammates and double kill on the enemy. Wipes just about everybody off the junkyard. Juliet has been the king of cleaning flags out this entire this this match so far. Unfortunately, that includes his whole team. Although maybe in this case, not the worst thing in the world. Very very good positioning up here for Lelen. Both tanks, <clears throat> excuse me. U.S. tank currently down. M behind the mosque pushing up. Lightning Luke will drop the artillery on top of the mosque flag. Gets the kill on a knock. Spencer on flag radius. Hank still here. M pokes around the corner. Kills M, uh, kills Eric. Spencer. Gonna go for the revive. There's still more. Amazon will respawn. M with the team kill into Amazon with all the jumping and uh, diving around the flag radius. I think Lelen is still around the flag radius right now. Junkyard also being pressured by existence. One on the rooftop, maybe? Nope, they have all been cleaned out. Shock pedal kill for, for, for Trash Blind. Spencer now cleaned up on the outside. That's going to be the push. And Scandy looks like they're going to already their main nobody home, hopefully. Free flag hold right now for existence. And it's still not... Is it wiped up finally? Yes. With more on the way, another Scandi push from the... Or, excuse me, Existence push from the left. Looking for Lou yet. He's in the main right now. I'm getting pressured from Nubalot and Anders. Or not Nubalot. Eric. I don't know why I read that. There's a bunch of zeros. Sorry. Gravity having a brain fart during a cast. Happens. Um, market flag. Gets pressured by, by existence. Gets capped. Or, excuse me. Gets pressured by Scandi. Easily defended. Scandi now going to make another push towards the market flag. Three versus one over here. Spencer, Eric... And uh, tra Spencer trash plane and knock gonna try to push in a boss over the GP 30 boss will find the triple kill on to not the knock trash and Spencer revives all around Kane also there all of Scandi get wiped junkyard flag getting pressed really really hard by existence Candy does have their tank up Lars is back behind the fence. But frankly, that's probably the best spot for him. Pressured so hard by so much AT already. Grenades all around. Crash flying. They get shot from the back by M, who finds another kill on Eric as well. M is 14 and 3 right now. He's been doing a great job. I mean, if you look at the comparison, Lars is 9 and 5. He's he's having he's having a tough time. Artillery coming in from Scandi looking for M. Not gonna find that golden ticket though. And actually, that's how desperate Lou yet was. I think to, to clean, clean off the, the rooftop. He was trying to drop the supply crate on top of Emzon. Artillery landing from existence. Not going to find anybody on the junkyard. Scandi might push towards the hotel flag. Knock gets taken out by Breaker. 
Eric trying to chase in. Gonna duck around the corner. Breaker will find a second kill onto Eric. And continue pushing back towards the junkyard. Tank also here from M. Uh, back on the main road. It's sit once. Gonna have to back out. Tanks are squishy. He'll be fine, though. Nobody from Scandi is pushing. Including Lars. Lars is in pure defense mode right now. Trash playing. Gets killed by uh, Boss's grenade. Artillery, area. Enemy, 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 enemy. Artillery gonna go out from Scandi. Just to the just to the east of the junkyard. I have a feeling this is gonna get some TKs, and there they are. Blue yet with one. Finds the kill on the boss. The Lightning Luke is also going to land at the same time on the Trash Planet Lars. Actually, wait a minute. On the Trash Planet Lars, he killed the freaking tank. That artillery from Luke killed Scandi's tank. And as you can see, Arctic knows. Give him some time. He's going to go for the steal. Lars already back up waiting. It's the shotgun kill into Arctic. He's gonna, but now he's now he's gonna be stuck in here. He has to push out. Being stuck in here is a terrible place. I'm digging this Jeep coming around. Scandi already, or excuse me, existence already waiting for this tank to come back around. Instead, Lara's is gonna push towards M. They want to break out instead, and M will fall. Lars, Lars will also go down, but at least both tanks are dead this time around. Big Black Knock will also die to the Emzon Jihad. A lot going on in this round. BPV into the main. Fossa flipping it. <laughs> Dies immediately. Spencer going to take the gun. It's killing to Emzon. Ah. Oh. Lars having a really, really tough round. 94 to 31. Three minutes left on the match. The map. Artillery from Luyette will, will fall. Get the kill on the Lightning Luke. That's at least the commander kill for her for existence. The tank of Lars will go down again to Arctic. Not even sure. I think he was up here on this hillside. And Scandi is base camped for quite a while. There's not, I mean, short of an all cap, a reverse all cap right now, there's nothing Scandi can do about this round. Ayaz. His own. Ball, which should be. His own kill into Spencer. Artillery going off for Scandi right now. Practically going to land on their own main base one more time. Another team kill from Luya. Another team kill. <laughs> Another one as well on top of that. I think at this point Luya is just kind of going for those. Oh, how I wish this game had a commander stat where you can just see the TKs. Lars did not get the tank. Arctic got it this time around. The tank will fall. Scandi all over the flag along with all members of existence. I'm going to drive his, his tank right into the flag radius. Find a double kill on a Luya and Trash Pine. Flag more than halfway down already. Two infantry on the flag. This is going to be the end of the round. A minute left in the round with three tickets and this is a cap out. So 83 to 0 will be your round 2 score in favor of existence. They had to go for that last ditch effort to cap. They did. 22 and 5 is M score this time around. Lars, 14 and 10. Very, very rough round for Lars. All right, here we go. We have everybody back. Dalian Planch.
is your map for map number two. Reactor towers, main entrance, consulate, and power plant. The latter two being the un the capturable main bases for each team. U.S. team will be Scandi. Existence will be on the Chinese side. We'll be following Scandi as they push out. Your commander reporting for duty. Each team does get one main battle tank. Main entrance does spawn the mobile AA. Reactor tower spawns the, the only attack halo on the map. We expect to see Scandi push their way for there immediately as we have a good spawn on Lelin. Be interesting to see if uh, resistance are going to try to push anything right now. I don't see anything in the ways of stopping them. Straw going to drop really far out. And here comes the push. It's going to be Lou Yet in the Hilo for Scandi. Hank, very, very late to the party. Straw, or Straw, long range Straw is going to connect. Lou Yet. TV missile completely off the wall does not go anywhere near that tank. So M will find a double kill into Lou Yet and Lelin. Mobile AA though did go the way of existence, so that so Scandi's gonna have a really hard time getting that helicopter off as Arctic gonna maneuver its way down towards the dock into the camping position where it will not it will almost certainly never get up again. In fact, oh my god, that's genius. That is freaking genius. And M, if he had moved on, that was pure chance. Lou Yet almost got that freaking Hilo up. That was incredible. So let me get this straight. The mobile AA was up, and now it's down. So for something, somebody actually killed the LAB or the mobile AA. I don't even know what happened there. Meanwhile, U.S. main under attack by existence. Artil artillery coming in from Scandi. TKs, TKs a few people. Capture radius incredibly small. Existence not gone yet. Trash plane will find one kill. Man finds a second on the Hiaz. Helicopter, back on the pad. TV missile goes out. This time it'll connect against, well, Vasa. Mobile AA up as well. This is, of course, Kane, the one that absolutely destroyed No Reg in that first round on this map. Two flags apiece. Mobile AA gonna go down. Oh, it was Lelin. They've got three people here. So, Le so Lelin, Nock, and Eric gonna push in. Kane with a Type 95 kill. Double, triple, triple kill for Kane as a support. Oh my God! Helicopter still up for Scandi. Lou Yet's gonna have to defend this flag on his own. Scandi back on flag radius. Existence has one player here. Well, this has been one heck of a game already. <laughs> Trash and Hayas trade. Gravity get killed by the artillery up as a kill feed. Main entrance now. Being pushed by Lars in the tank. Doesn't look like he has much help, though. There was one infantry here. First straw will connect from the office building. Second one will connect. That was a tow. That tank is dead. New tank back up. Lars will get killed. Mobile AA is going to drive away as well. King or Arctic now in the Mobile AA this time. Take a look and see where uh, Lou Yet's doing in the chopper. Light fire coming in. Some out from some MG somewhere. They are in the ground of any, any enemy infantry headed towards the reactor towers. Hank back up for M as we can saw him on the right side of the map just now. But yet looking for a new tank. He'll find it.
Oh, stinger turret from the main. That's what that was. Well, yeah, we'll eat one stinger. Any immediate danger. Oh my god, I was going to say, if he actually hit that chief, that'd be incredible. That was so close. Lars here, finds Breaker. One more dropped out. I'm definitely not the squad leader, though. Oh, Lars, not paying attention. Didn't see him on the catwalk. Leland's still here. Anders definitely still still here. Anders playing commander this time around. Especially with Lou yet in the helicopter. We've got a double push from Scandi right now. We got the tank from Lars on top of the main entrance flag. Not going up just yet. One infantry back here. Gonna stop him from playing medic as well, so not able to help. Lars gonna do some repairing. It's killed from behind. Spencer immediately takes the tank. The tank will go down. Lars gets revived. Tank not uh, Lars. Not able to repair in time. Support from Emzon. Excuse me. Was that support? I don't even know. No. Type 85. Who yet now kills the mobile AA once again on the main entrance flag. And this is definitely going to go the way of Scandi. Existence on the back foot at, you know, 13 and a half minutes. 13, 37 minutes left in the round. Sorry, I had to do that. 13.37. Resistance, still trying to push in. Lars finds one kill on the boss, so with the shotgun, finds a second on the Arctic. Likely to see him suicide? No, the tank's being brought up for him. Three flag hold for Scandi. Rockets going out against Lou yet. Riker will fall. There's still one left here. Gonna go for the last ditch Shira effort. Not gonna connect, and Nock will find it. Infantry push towards. Never mind. That's where, that's where that push is going. Lara's getting a little aggressive, but I think he can be due to the helicopter being up. Main entrance flag gonna be able to provide Spencer with a mobile AA. This will be the linebacker, and the moment this linebacker pops up, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Luyette will kill M. Scanning and a tighten the noose. Lar uh, Spencer, although, did not go the proper way around behind the flag. This fence position, as we saw from Kane last round, or last match... Quite the superior position when holding and trying to camp in the respawns for the for the power for the uh, power plant flag. M will also fall again to Luyet in the helicopter. Eric trying to push the flag. It's in the jeep. Or uh, gonna be high as that gets in the jeep. I think Spencer's just in a really ineffective position. Like, he can just get hit by Laws from here, or, or Shiraz. It's just not a good position for that linebacker to be in. Free flag hold continues. 11 minutes left in the round. I think it's 154 to 116. In favor of Scandi, as they're right as their linebacker will die. It's the Arctic. I'm gonna head for the Arctic for the respawn here. Hank. Lars coming down the uh, the back way. Let's take out Arctic on the way uh, as he moves over. Lou yet under some pressure. Distance gonna try to push the uh, reactor tower flag. 
really all they have is Sroth. I mean, that's just the, that's just the nature of Battlefield 2. I think Blue Yet is fine. As long as he doesn't get TK'd by his own teammates' artillery. Are they still in that building? They are! Existence are not giving this push up on reactor towers, and oh my god, Lou Yet just dropped that TV right onto Amazon's teeth. Finally, with trash coming around behind. That push onto reactor towers from existence will end. Blue yet with another kill and a breaker as breakers are the drink, bring a dra jeep all the way around towards the con site. Very difficult round right now for existence. And with the tank trying to stay under the power plant flag, and look at this! Spencer died again to Arctic and is going to open the, the, path, the path forward. For them to push Lars with double kills and the Arctic and M's on the revives will go out as well. Another shot in the, the tank from uh, one of the t one of the straws. Lars is gonna have to back out. Helicopter here is fear from Luyet. Linebacker back up for Spencer. He really needs to go around. Go around. Find yourself parked over here. Yeah, he's just gonna fall again. One more straw. Oh my god, Lars and Spencer. The combination there. All six kills in the kill feed were, were Lars and Spencer. The Arctic finally put the end to that. They're finally killing Spencer in that mobile AA. Who yet from above. And the pressure is being put really hard on existence. Down to 60 tickets round number one. But frankly, it's uh, it's Lars that is actually putting in the work this round. Every time uh, Spencer goes down in the in the, in the mobile AA. It's Lars that fo that cleans up the follow-up push. Scandy now pushing with their infantry. Erix from Breaker will kill Trashbine on the flag. Emson will also die on the fl or uh, get the kill on the knock. Lelan still with two kills. Bossa and Breaker both fall. Spencer with the linebacker on Hiaz. Lars continuing to press up. Lou Yet with a TK on Lelan. That's a really bad news. Huge misplay by uh, Lou Yet there. Taking out their squad leader. Commander UAV trailer will also go down. For existence. Hiaz now with the kill in the trash blind. Straw is going to come around the corner. The linebacker will almost not going to go down yet. Too much, too much rip health. But the kill feed, honest to God, if it isn't, it's always, if it isn't the helicopter, it just always seems to be Lou Yet and Lars. Or uh, Spencer and Lars. It's just going to be a base camp. Scandy. Don't seem like they're gonna make the push. Artillery gonna land right on both these vehicles. They'll get out in time. And M will dive forward. Did he dive forward? Yeah, he had to have. He died immediately. And get one more kill onto the mobile AA for Scandy. Lars getting hit a few more times, sitting on the crate. And he's almost certainly going to go down with one more straw. Going to connect and he'll fall to Bassa. 
think it's five to me five and a half minutes left on the map 127 to 16 with the bleed doing some serious damage to existence artillery landing right on the power plant flag new tank up and we'll go Ooh, that was close knock tried to make a run for the tank Spencer continuing this push with the line with the linebacker. This kill feed at the end is gonna be very, very surprising. And Lars back with the tank. Hundred and twenty four tickets, Scandy, answer back. Look at this kill feed. 27 and 5 for Lars. 35 and 2 for Luyat. Spencer 22 and 11, but again, I feel like he was out of position. All he had to do was go behind that fence and he could have shut down most of those pushes. The kill feed is saying it all right now. Luyat did a fantastic job in that helicopter for round number one. How rare is it for China to get the Healy up? Um, it's pretty rare, honestly. In the old, it's, it's, it's rare nowadays, Viper, because in the old days, the Jeeps, um, there's kind of a different meta these days on Dalian, it seems. In the old days, there, the, the Jeep, the little buggy that spawns over here at China side, uh, they would rush it down this hill, and instead of going here, they would go straight to the flag, they would sit here. So there would be an infantry battle on the flag, but the China team would A, try to steal the helicopter, and B, use the use the jeep to try to shoot down infantry that were capping the flag, and it would, they would just become a big grenade span between the infantry behind the office the little office buildings here. And, you know, whichever team won, they would just try to keep pushing into the flag. So they would either try, you know, try to steal the helicopter or win the flag outright with an infantry spawn. But it doesn't seem to happen anymore. It seems like nowadays they just back the tank up and have their SRAs pixeled that they just, you know, keep killing the U.S. chopper. And they try to push the main entrance flag, and it seems to be the way that they go. Well, I, I, in the old days, just, the, just off the initial push, Viper... That's what I'm saying. Like, the initial push, the U.S. team would always cap this flag, but the other team would always try to steal it. But if the team, if the, if the chopper went down, the Chinese team would try to get the flag, and then a Z10, Z11 would spawn. Or Z10. Second round on the map. China side, now for Scandi. Existence for the U.S. side. Yeah, it would be, it would be this buggy that they would try to go for it with. Tank shells being traded off initially. Jeep definitely on the way towards reactor towers. Look at M's positioning. Oh, speaking of which. No, look at this. That's another reason why it doesn't happen as much. Breaker with a SRA. Plus the follow-up from tank shells. Immediately kill the Jeep. Helicopter going to be up on the pad. And nothing to stop this helicopter this time. Lazen in the helicopter for existence. Look at this push from existence. They want this main so quick. 
I don't even know what's going on on the, on the main entrance flag. It looks like it's going to go for existence as well. It's going to be Lightning Luke the Commander in there. Lars just fell in the tank. Lazen will kill that. The infantry are going to be on this flag momentarily. Knock. I'm going to try to get some grenade kills, but M is going to push right into the flag radius. I'm going to back up into a little bit of safety. Crash blind accidentally does a TK. Lazen cleaning house. M still getting peppered by some shots. Lars going for his tank. Doesn't get it. M will go down to Spencer. The flag's still in trouble. And we're going to have a counter cap here. 124 tickets. Scandy round one. one, uh, one round one. But at this point in time, they're going to be trapped in their main. And this time, I would imagine that Kane is going to go the, the right way. And that's exactly where he went. Nope, it's M's on this time. Not Kane, it's M's on. But he is still going to the right spot. Lou Yet. Looking for this mobile AA. And it's just, it's just so easy to get kills in this thing. So we're going to have a base camp immediately against Scandi. And look at this pop, 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 pop. This linebacker cleaning house. Unfortunately, Emzon did get hit over the fence. And that's great shooting from whoever hit him. Scandi still trying to put, uh, defend. Trash blind. Only player here. Scandi going to lose their tank. Hayas is gonna inside. He's going to get right on the... Tank spawn or right on the flag radius right off the bat. Tank will go down. But not before Hyas gets another kill. Flag halfway down as M moves in right now. Two more infantry on flag. Kane with a TK on a breaker. More straws into the tank. Flag is gone. Scandi will successfully defend against the, uh, the tank, but they've lost the flag. And no more respawns for Scandi. One, two, three left alive. Now two. Now one. And it's going to be Eric. Last alive. GG. Lightning Luke, before the end, going to TK all his, almost his whole team, but that was fast. Four and a half minutes to cap out. Not even, three and a half minutes to cap out. Scandi get obliterated around two, 184 tickets to zero. I, uh, oddly enough, that's one ticket less. Uh, one ticket better for existence than they than they kept out uh, FF4, FF4N this last match. So there's your winner. <laughs> existence, Lazen with 10-0. Kane 6-1, M4-2. and Crash taking the top spot for Scandi 5-3. 184 is your ticket win. As Existence will take map number 2. By a significant number of tickets, about uh, 60 tickets. And they will also take map number one, so two, uh, three points to zero for existence.